MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. All right, so I'm finna get straight into the video, dog. You gotta check motherfuckers, all right? When you on your motherfucking journey, bro, you have to check people, bro. People are gonna try you all the fucking time. Well, not all the time, but like when they do, sometimes you just gotta check their ass, bro. So what do you? What do I mean by that? First of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's been holding on to your energy, take care of yourself, going within. You feel me? being high vibrational you can't be no fucking pushover bro when you when you have like a light inside you and when you've been cultivating your energy when you've been like really trying to better yourself bro and you really not trying to fuck with people bro that irritates the fuck out of like some of your peers you feel me and some of your like i wouldn't say your closest friends but trust and believe right now bro I'm getting on somebody's motherfucking nerves right now. Every time they go on their fucking uh, YouTube and they're not subscribed to my channel, but some, some way, somehow, they always come to my channel. It's just like, yo, this nigga is still posting. What the fuck is he saying now? I get on people's nerves like a motherfucker. And it's only because I'm just trying to better myself in life. I'm not trying to like, you know, I'm not attacking nobody or nothing. So... When you are that type of person, and let me know in the comment section if you've been through this shit, dog. Like, when you're that type of person that, like, really, you feel me, is focused on bettering yourself and focused on, like, bettering your situation every single day, you literally have people, bro, that tend to tell quote-unquote jokes. Or they'll say, oh, it looks like you're getting slimmer. Or it looks like you, or it looks like you gaining weight. Or, like, damn, you still do that YouTube thing? And it's just like, yeah, bro, I'm still doing my thing. I'm still vibing. I'm still working out. The thing about it, dog, you got some people who just envy the fuck out of you for no fucking reason because they their life sucks. For real. Their life fucking sucks, bro. You go, So you have to check people sometimes. So I had to check somebody. But the way how I did it, it was so smooth. It was just like I'm living in that motherfucker. I'm living in that person's head. Like now... This nigga, he probably won't see none of my videos that I post, but I, I'm just, I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. Um, I don't like fake people, and I always just gotta keep it real, 100, dog. Like he, he's really a, he, he's, he's part of the situation. He's part of like my living situation right now. Like when I first moved to Central Florida, bro, this was all I, I came here broke. I didn't have shit, so everything that I did was. Pretty much out of survival mode type shit. I almost, I, I, I ended up actually staying with the chick that I almost got pregnant. But I had to stay with her because I was in survival mode, bro. Like, I'm talking about I didn't have shit. I was starting my life completely over. Didn't have an ID, didn't have a cell phone, nothing. So with that being said, all I knew how to do was grind. So when I grind, uh, when, I, when, I, when I finally got me a job and I started grinding... I was I was attracting so much money, bro, early. You feel me? Because I was focused and then I started retaining. Bro, after some time, I realized like, okay, I could bring I could bring in like a, a few dollars a month, you feel me? I could bring in a few dollars a month. And the thing about it is the person the 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 owner of part of this house, basically he pretty, pretty much don't own this house and I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I can call this shit dry snitching or what. He a fuck nigga. Okay, so he he basically in the whole situation type shit, but he kind of need me to stick around. You feel me? So it's like, naturally speaking, I won't be around people like that. The motherfucker that own part of this house, like that motherfucker is, it, it's a different demon that's possessing this nigga every single day. You know what I'm saying? So over the past four, five, six months, I've been... Somehow, some way, I just been focused. I just been. I haven't been worried about, you know, negative people or negative entities like that. So I think he had he had said something to me one morning. I think he said something about like, oh, something to do with a plate or some. You, you feel me? Some dumb shit, right? And then I forgot what I said. Like I think I snapped. I I think I said he was like, oh well, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, when you get a chance, I was like, oh nah, it's a big deal because you're mentioning it. Now, mind you, I remember, I don't say shit. And to him, he thinks like I'm some 
some oh oh he's a good guy you know al he doesn't he doesn't say much and he's soft-spoken and it's like all right bitch when i raid the motherfucker put you in your motherfucking place yeah not now you now you don't know what the fuck to do to yourself or do with yourself bro i mean i said one sentence and he went off oh he and 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 then the, and the funny thing about it how he went off was I've heard this same argument with him and other tenants or him and other people that came to the house. Oh, don't get smart with me. You know, he's an old motherfucker. I'm like, bro, you old as shit, nigga. I'll push you on the ground, bitch. Try to get up. You can't. Fuck, nigga. Like, for real, though, but... I know that was kind of mean, but nah, it's real shit. Like, the nigga is... He's like one of those people that... Is battling a lot of stuff internally, bro. You can see it in his eyes. And then when you try to, and that's the thing, you're going to meet people who have shit going on within them. And obviously, they're never going to admit to this shit. But like, I'm trying to tell you, when you actually try to tell them, like, hey, XYZ, ABC about yourself, maybe you can talk to me this way. You know, I'm a grown ass man. You feel me? You don't got to talk to me like uh, you do with these other people. I don't do nothing, my nigga. I'm on, I, like, listen, I'm consistent. You need me. You feel me? So I guess people will ask and probably wonder and be like, man, why are you still in that situation? Why are you still in that situation, man? Fuck that nigga. Da, 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 da. It's, it's coming. It's coming. Trust me. That's why I'm saying I got to be very patient, bro. When I first came here, it was out of survival mode shit type shit. You feel me? And now, now I turned this shit into, like, I feel like a walking LLC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Money Man. I really, I feel like a whole business. I feel like a whole, you feel me? I know how to generate my own money now. You get what I'm saying? So, and I had to do this shit. Mind you, I'm not comfortable. And that's one, one thing you're going to learn in life. You dead ass have to be kind of uncomfortable to uh, to um accomplish certain things in life. You feel me? It's going to be a motherfucker that you have to deal with for only a certain amount of time. You know what I'm saying? But I say don't always don't always try to snap on people because the only reason why I even uh, said something back to homeboy is because like I was just tired of him talking like he talked he be talking way too much he be saying shit I don't even have whole conversations with this nigga you feel me he got so much shit going on inside him bro it's ridiculous I push his ass to the motherfucking ground nigga barely walk but nah that was mean but um yeah though don't try to don't try to like snap on people out the gate you feel me like you like usually with me i let so much shit slide but that one time i was just i was led by intuition and and i think my higher self was like nah fuck that <laughs> fuck that shit bro <laughs> like don't let me don't let me come down to this dimension and fuck shit up that's how i be feeling bro but you know i just i like to just keep it humble nice cool calm you feel me? Just just to like get shit done. But yo, sometimes you do have to check people on some real shit. But other than that, it's being Boy Moody Star. I'll definitely catch you guys on the next video, man. If you see an old person and they're rude, do not push them on. Don't do not push them to the ground unless unless they deserve it. I'm just playing. But yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Peace.